Okay. So I was outside. And I was absorbing the sun rays. And uh, I realized something about positivity. About positivity and it being a frequency. Now I know I've talked about frequencies before. Everything is a frequency. Like everything that we see, even though it's solid, it appears solid, it's like a concentrated frequency in whatever dimension that we're in. Like, um, <clears throat> like flowers and stuff like that, you know? So much vibrant color in those flowers are really concentrated. And not only can I say that by looking at it, but I actually ate a petal of like a, a white, like a, it had like a yellow center and it had like a lily, I guess, I think they're called, with little white petals on it. And I had tried the one of the white petals and put it in my mouth in Pennsylvania and I realized it was like super bitter, like super, super bitter. And like my natural instinct was like, I don't really like this. And I know that bitter in like, um, uh, I know that bitter as far as our fight or flight response, as far as our, uh, animal instincts is like poison, you know? We, we recognize that as being too concentrated. It's, it's too concentrated. And, uh, even though it looks very gentle, you know, sometimes you just know when something's a little too much and when something isn't. So even though, there's a lot of things in nature that look like beautiful and but it can sting like a bee like you know roses and thorns and stuff like that um and I was realizing more about frequencies and it's like our eyes pick up whatever frequencies are out there and it appears to us in any way shape or form and you know being able to see uh, the soup that we walk through and you know different entities and stuff like that and being able to hear my ma and people in another dimension is like um i mean it's a frequency one i can hear one i can see um and everyone has these ha everyone has the has these ancient well, ancient uh abilities these um these cellular memories everyone has this i know everyone has this um, I think it's a matter of unlocking that, you know, like you're literally unlocking something in your, in your cellular memory, because we have lots of cells, you know, maybe like all of the cells in our body are little memories of all the people that have ever lived on the planet, you know, or even things that, that are from other planets, and, um, I think like the more you remember stuff and the more things you're just like oh, it looks really familiar like deja vu it's like even though maybe you weren't there you can't remember being there maybe you're picking up that cellular memory and it like unlocks something in your brain um like when I look at the nighttime sky like last night for instance <clears throat> I was looking at the moon I was looking at the moon I looked right at the moon and when I looked right at the moon I saw purple like a purple hue like surrounding the moon and the more I like looked at the center and then kind of like edged out a bit more it was like I'd see more and more purple it was like the more I looked at the color it was like it would emanate more and more and more because I was like expanding my view but I realized that when I looked at it and I saw the purple hue and then I would look a little bit away and look at my peripherals I would see yellow I saw a yellow color and I was like, hmm, the complementary colors of purple and yellow. And then I was like, but you know, that doesn't make sense according to psychology and science because they say that when you look at something directly at night, well, when you look at something directly, you're using your, uh, like the cones and rods, it's like you see color. You see color and like at night you use peripherals because those are like the black and whites the black and whites. I don't know exactly, but I know it's something like that. It's like when you direct look directly at something at night, it's hard to see it because you need to use your peripherals because your brain can't decide, can't distinguish color, even though I see color at night. Now, why I see it, you know, I don't know why I see it. I just do, and I and I like to be able to talk about it because these frequencies are totally able to be seen because black, you know, the color, a dark, dark color is really just concentrated color. Just like white, it also has all the colors in just a different expression. And I think that's why it's really interesting when I look at, like, all these white walls, because I can see, like, you know, like, 
pastel colors, like a pastel green, a pastel pink. Uh, you know, that's mainly the colors that I see. I see uh, like a, a lighter yellow when it comes to white. But when I look at the nighttime sky, I see concentrated colors, like a really, really, you know, deep, vibrant uh, purple. And what I realize is that, you know, maybe the cones and rods aren't exactly what we think they are. Maybe that's just what the knowledge that we have at the time. Because when I actually experience something different than what science has ta taught us, I'm like, yeah, but I know that's what you're saying, but I don't see that. I see something different. When I look away from the moon, I shouldn't see color. I shouldn't see, when I look at the moon, uh, it's nighttime. I shouldn't even see color. You know what I mean? I should see just black and white. You know, if you're saying that the nighttime, when it's dark, I shouldn't see color, but that's actually when I see more, more color and more light bodies, then to me it's like maybe it's unlocking another DNA strand or another, um, I don't know, like something, something is unlocked in my, in my DNA or something to be able to see that. And we see this in history about how they, you know, like in the Bible, they talk to God, they talk to, um, you know, how like his disciples, they could still see him for a long time, even after he had already resurrected or um, passed on. And they could see his spirit, you know, just like I can see um, other dimensional beings as well. And have like full on conversations and stuff and I can either look at them or I can hear them um, and it's like it kind of reminds me of things like uh, like schizophrenia or uh, I'm not really sure what else I think that one comes to mind uh, I think one is just like not being able to understand it and have some sort of control over it and the other one is like, okay, well, mediums, they do it all the time. It's a profession. And people love that because they love to be able to talk to their loved ones. And the only difference is perception, I think, is, you know, these abilities have been in history since, I don't know, I mean, it's it seems to be pretty apparent to be able to see visions and apparitions and, you know, angels and stuff like that. I mean... It's talked about all the time in history, thousands of years ago. And the fact that somebody can do it now, well, you, you know, back then, a little bit further back then, like maybe 70 years ago, it was like, you're a kook. <laughs> We're going to throw you in this little institution here, and, you know, you're going to be kind of unhappy being in a small room. But now it's like more accepted as being like, well, you know, and it makes total sense because this is the way we always have been. We've always been able to access these other dimensional realms and, uh, you know, the, the spiritual realm. And, you know, <laughs> I don't really have all the answers, though. <laughs> but I know what I experience, and I think that's the reason why it's so important for me to just share whatever it is I experience. Because, you know, I like the science, and I like delving into stuff, uh... And then I, I, I find a, a situation in my life that I can relate it to and be like, whoa, you know, I never really thought about that. Like the video I made a couple of videos back about, you know, where your cells, right? We see somebody is passing away, but maybe what it is is that these cells altered themselves, you know, and moved around to look different at a different frequency. And maybe that's what ascension really is, is just those cells moved into another dimensional frequency. And to us, it looks like a decay, but in their frequency maybe it was just like waking up this morning you know <clears throat> we just see something at a certain frequency and they see something at a totally different frequency I think that's why certain geological locations and like haunted houses you know it like constantly has the same energy in it but maybe it just takes uh, a different set of eyeballs to find something different in that you know Um, wow, I really went off on tangents right now. <laughs> okay, so I want to go back to uh, the positivity that I started with. Um, I was talking about positivity in the beginning of this. Uh, so what, what I mean when I talk about frequencies and positivity is that, like as a kid, right, if you have like an ear infection, you take like ear infection medicine, okay, and it's like you put the faith in that ear infection medicine, that the kid's gonna get better and the kid just you know goes along with it because mom knows best you know 
eventually the kid gets better or the medicine doesn't work you get something else right you get older uh, you get the flu you get a cold or whatever you take like a Tylenol or something like that or you have some warm tea or uh, you know you just stay in bed and you just sort of sleep it off or you know gargling with like salt and water if you have like a swollen lymph nodes it's like these little home remedies that you just do and like you know your moms just know what to do and it fixes the problem um, and it's like I think that is the confidence and the positivity in having the faith in whatever it is that you are doing is going to fix the problem I think that's more important than the actual solution that you're using to fix the problem I mean it's like a miracle it's like that's what miracles are is saying I know this is going to work and I know that this is possible you know you're taking something that looks seemingly impossible and you say you know what I see something totally different you know I see something totally different and I'm gonna follow my heart on that and this is how like biggest changes in history happen is like people that say well you know I don't know, I don't know about that I mean, let's try something else it's like they literally put themselves all on the line like I don't know, like JFK or like Martin Luther King or something like that. You know, it's like they put themselves on the line knowing that they're going against the common frequency, but they're using a positive frequency. And even though we might see it in our realm as like they got shot, I mean, maybe that's just our dimensional frequency. Maybe they just ascended and that's what it looks like to us because of the frequency that we're in. Maybe it looks totally different to, to them. They don't, maybe they don't, they don't even experience death. They just, feel really excited in the morning like I did and they just sort of they're living in the same simultaneous existence in a different frequency but yeah positivity <laughs> I think positivity and just knowing what your body needs in the moment it's like that certain frequency just that feeling that frequency feeling is the frequency that literally heals your body maybe that's what you know like Reiki healing and, and, and hands-on healing it's like this positive energy whether you think it or you say it or you do it or you just know it it's like it literally can change the whole world just by knowing by believing and knowing and maybe that's like the faith of a mustard seed is saying yeah but what if yeah but I I, you know what I see is it's like you literally take yourself away from one frequency and say I don't you know I don't that frequency doesn't feel very good to say you're gonna die if you do this that doesn't feel good what's the other side of that you know like there's people that defy stuff all the time by you know eating all kinds of crazy stuff like bacon all day every day <laughs> or like McDonald's every day like geez as a kid I must have eaten McDonald's like I don't know you know what I mean like you just eat whatever you want you don't even you don't even think about it and then it's like because you're just so positive you just burn up you burn up whatever it is you eat I mean it's just a frequency it's a concentrated frequency and you, and you move around and you're excited and happy and it's like that positive frequency about not even thinking about what you're eating or what you're doing and just enjoying it <laughs> it's like food frequency is what we look at what we see smell taste touch enjoy think the frequency of looking at the positivity in it it changes the whole system it like literally changes the whole system because you're now infusing that one sorrowful or once fearful frequency with um, a more elated loving excited frequency you literally change the whole game. You change the whole geological location and your system just by being completely positive about it. And not getting too trapped up in sorrow or or like, you know, pity or feeling bad or something like that. It's like flipping it to a positive literally can I mean, my heart was like total crazy town, but then I like looked at the sun and how beautiful the day was and it was like heart was totally fine and I feel so much better just by looking just by distracting myself with something beautiful my whole system changed the sun <sighs> sun's amazing <laughs> maybe that's the reason why they called Jesus the son of God 
Maybe he is a sun. And his aura is so awesomely intense that he looks like a sun in our dimension. I mean, you never know. <laughs> but it's fun to think about because, I mean, that is an aura, right? It's like this emanating biofeedback, this, this, this heat, this temperature, this frequency that you're looking at. Maybe, you know? Maybe I'm like a, a, a certain sun or, or planet or something to like some other um, being on another planet. You know what I mean? Like maybe you, maybe you're like a star or a sun or a, or a moon or something in the cosmos to some other being on another planet because you just have such a high such a such an emanating spirit such an emanating uh, aura field that that's what it looks like from far away from a certain perspective wow well that just blew my own mind okay thanks for watching